Well, hello everyone. Uh, this may be a bit awkward, but it is I, your host, Dandruff. And I must insist, I am not dead. Oh, quite the opposite, in fact. I'm actually doing very well. But uh, it is because of today's subject matter that I felt the necessity to reinstall a bunch of software and relearn how to do all this again. So I'm very sorry if everything is not up to the same quality it used to be. Oh yeah, and I can't swear anymore, otherwise YouTube will throw a fit. So I would like this to be seen by people, so I guess I'm going to have to play along. So let's start at the beginning, all the way back to 1997. Yes, before the internet existed as we know it today. My best friend in elementary school's name was Mark. Hi Mark, how you doing? Uh... I spent a lot of time at his house playing on his PlayStation. For his birthday one year, he received the game Armored Core, and he and I played the living crap out of it. We even did that thing where you tape two pieces of cardboard to the TV so you can't uh, look at the other person's screen. Older gamers know what I'm talking about. Armored Core is a third-person mech shooter developed by From Software, in all caps. First published by Sony themselves and released in 1997, and it was actually received really well with about an average of 8 out of 10 stars. They would later be published by H-Tech, and then uh, eventually won by Ubisoft, won by Sega, and the last three titles, including Armored Core 6, all published by Bandai Namco. And so it began my love of Armored Core. Kerbal is my favorite game, but as a series, Armored Core is kind of my uh, favorite, as with you as see as uh, the number of games in the series that I own. This is, this is a soundtrack. Back to the history lesson. From Software would go on to release a multitude of games from a multiple different number of publishers, but eventually would release Demon's Souls, the Dark Souls trilogy, Bloodborne, and Elden Ring. These would be their most popular games to date. One of the goals of my show is to show off my love of gaming as well as to share my hobby with as many people as possible. But that's not why I'm here today. One of the reasons my show exists is to call out developers and publishers on things that I do not like, things that don't make sense, things that could possibly, in my opinion, for the sake of entertainment, please don't sue me, please don't sue me, please don't sue me, could be fraudulent behavior. And so, Armored Core 6 was announced on December 9th, 2022, and I was ecstatic. I am still ecstatic. Uh, the last one, Armored Core 5 Verdict Day, released 10 years ago. So I've been waiting quite a long time for another series, or for another game in this series. I told my wife I would like to get the Collector's Edition because I, I, I own a lot of them. I am going to play it. I love this game series. I have never bought a collector's edition before, so I figured this was the perfect time. And then, to my horror, I tried to buy one. I fought with Bandai Namco for 18 days before one morning I woke up, put in my information as I had done literally dozens of times before the exact same way, and my order went through. I don't know how. Now, I had been in contact with Bandai Namco more or less the whole time. Anytime that I had, I was struggling with trying to complete the order, I would talk to their help desk and they would tell me different things to try. Uh, I tried four different web browsers. I tried, you know, with street, without street, with this, with that, you know, here, there, the next thing. Nothing worked. For whatever reason, Bandai Namco's online help support chat for their store cannot manually place an order. And this is one of many, many things I have an issue with with their online help. During my difficulty, I was offered by one of the representatives free three-day shipping. And at the time, I didn't really accept or decline. I kind of just took the attitude of, I just want to get my order through first. We can worry about three-day shipping or whatever later. Three-day shipping doesn't really do me any good if there's nothing to ship to me. So once I got the order, I inquired about the free three-day shipping. And right here on my screen is where I talked to GM whatever. Uh, their names are... That's not their real name. That's their uh, name for the online store. So nobody's nobody's personal information is getting out here. They agreed to apply free shipping to my order. Great. Cool. You know what? Wonderful. It took 18 days to buy the darn thing. But you know what? The fr if, if they gave me free three-day shipping in order to deal with the frustration, then you know what? 
I, I'll, I'll accept that. I want the statue. I understand that I'm not going to be able to play the game until Friday anyway, or until when it releases this Friday, August 25th. But uh, I want the statue. I want to be able to look at the statue. I want to put the statue on my computer and look at it and be all like her do 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 statue. That's what a collector's edition is. That's what I want. Now, this was all back in May, and I admit that I completely overlooked this part of the email. This is where things start to get interesting. I had messaged Bandai Namco twice in the last two months, once to confirm my order after it had been placed, and then another after the order had hit my bank account again and then disappeared. I just wanted to make sure everything was okay both times, and both times they told me, yes, I guess this is normal. Fast forward to this previous Monday, August 21st, when the order was finalized on my bank account. I had paid the full amount plus shipping at... Wait, what? I paid $15 for shipping? I thought I was supposed to get three-day shipping for free. Now, I completely admit that this was a little bit of a mistake on my part. I thought I would get three-day shipping rather than just free shipping, but that doesn't change what happens next. I start out by asking them if they had applied three-day shipping to my order, and they indeed confirm I have three-day shipping on my order. So I ask them, why does it say seven to ten day? They get back to me and tell me that unfortunately, it was not upgraded to three-day shipping, and they allude to me that I am supposed to get a refund for the shipping cost, I guess? This is another one of those problems that I was having with their customer support help. I couldn't directly ask them any questions. They wouldn't give me a direct, simple, plain answer, even to a yes or no question. It was always a paragraph every single time. A lot of times they would give me information that I hadn't even asked for. So I tell them, no, I haven't received any sort of refund. And regardless, I feel lied to because they were supposed to apply three day shipping. And then it hits me of what they're actually telling me because they say that giving me three day shipping wouldn't have mattered anyway because it's their goal for everyone to receive the game on the same day. So then why are they charging extra for expedited shipping? I just start plainly asking, what do people who paid for three-day shipping receive for their payment? And I kid you not, they don't know. Right here they state, for pre-orders, this would mean that the customer would not receive it sooner as everyone would be getting it on the release date. And that just doesn't make sense. Bandai Namco are the ones who offer the option for faster shipping. They don't have to offer this at all. It's their decision to offer this upgrade at an additional price, and it's their decision for everyone to receive the pre-order on the same day. So then what's actually going on here? Are people just paying extra money for Bandai Namco to ship it out at a later date? Because I am not okay with paying Bandai Namco to give them more time to ship me the thing I already paid for. I paid extra for faster shipping to get it before everyone else who didn't pay extra. You don't go on Amazon, pay for the expedited shipping, and they're like, oh, Thank you. That gives me an extra three days to ship your thing. No, you paid extra because you want it now. So in my opinion, again, don't sue me, Bandai Namco is taking place in fraudulent activity and could possibly have taken thousands of dollars over the years in pre-order expedited fees and offered nothing in return. Now, I can't say that they didn't ship these out via three-day expedited shipping. It's just that they waited extra time to ship those out, completely negating any benefit of the expedited shipping. Okay, so this is how the show is going to be a little bit different. Um, I just spent like an hour talking to Bandai Namco's help chat, and I have learned many, many new things. <laughs> okay. So long story short, yours truly has led now to new customer service changes within Bandai Namco. Um, after I contacted them on the 21st, they, they, they specifically told me that it was recently, uh, 
that they have now updated their customer service policies and their information and that people who do pay for three-day shipping do receive it earlier than everyone else. It is not their goal to have everybody receive it on release date. I'm just as disappointed as you are. Um, <laughs> this has been a lot to deal with um, because they've clearly lied to me. Um, and I uh, I don't really know how to handle it. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a new one. This has um, been literally the worst customer experience I have ever had considering it was just difficult to give them money in the first place that's what a store does you give a store money they give you things in return they were like here's i was like here here's money and they were like no <laughs> oh no <laughs> and i said why and they go we don't know <laughs> um <laughs> uh Oh boy, that was that was a lot. Um, so I've straight up just asked them for like compensation in return because I've now done work for them. Like, look, you know, I'm I'm not, you know, no, I'm not. I haven't done it a a, a, a bunch. Um, I haven't done it, you know, a, a, a whole terrible lot. But I have absolutely clarified one of their customer service policies. I don't work in their customer service. I work where I work. And I do YouTube now for hobby. And, well, you know, I don't work for Bandai Namco. Uh, they should compensate me in some way. Because uh, they told me misinformation. They made decisions about my order based on misinformation. Because, as you saw, they straight up told me that they, that they could... Give, they, they were giving me th uh, free shipping. They could give me three day. They could push for it, but it wouldn't matter. So they didn't push for it because it didn't matter. Their misinformation led me to not getting my order when I wanted it. I would have just paid for the three day shipping and then they could have just refunded me the, the $50 it would have been. But that, But I bought it thinking they were just going to upgrade me to... Three day shipping. This this whole experience has just been dreadful. This whole experience has been awful. Uh, Bandai Namco, I rank you ethically lower than Konami. Bandai Namco, I hope from software never releases another Armored Core game. I hope that if they do release another Armored Core game, it is no longer with Bandai Namco. I do not want to go through this experience again. This was terrible. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you next time. I don't know when that's going to be. And people are usually shocked when they find out I'm not the greatest electrician. Oh, yeah, and I shaved my beard. Hey, oh, hell, yay. Actually, I think I gotta change my icon now. Um, So, yeah, hi, everybody. This has been the uh, first episode in a little while, and it did not turn out how I thought it would. Turns out they, uh, just, they're just a terrible company. I don't, I, I can't say that they were necessarily scamming anybody now. They're just an, just an awful, awful company. So uh, links are in the description down below. Uh, some of them don't link. Like the Patreon thing is not on yet. If I start doing this more, maybe I'll turn it back on. If people really want to give me money to do this, I don't really care anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, Twitter is now X. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it. Um, other than that, um, I love you, everybody. I will see you next time. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the show.